welcome this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back and shout out to all my Virgos okay this is the first week of April 2018 and the week begins from the second until the eighth it is the energy of the fire week um, it is the energy of the zodiac of fire also so it is a week of triumphant so let's see what you Virgos are going to receive in this week on Monday you Virgos have emotional withdrawal so some of you Virgos could be stepping backwards taking um, you know withdrawing yourself from a situation and really going inwards most of this time when this happened it's that um, we are deciding to make a move or to leave something behind on Tuesday you have um, it's a very emotional week for you guys memories of love so what I'm feeling for you Virgos is that Monday you're very emotional withdrawn because of something that happens the week before or in the weekend and you're thinking is this what I want and some of you are thinking of going back to an old relationship to someone who um, your heart your heart is with someone else so on Wednesday you have recognition so recognitions reward and recognitions for some of you on Wednesdays whatsoever is happening um, it's the energy of fire it's the energy of three of Pentacles um, a lot of people are going to be connecting with other people there's going to be a lot of recognition for uh, some of you Virgos so on Thursday and the crowning of your week you have the energy of transformation and transformation is the ending of something because there was something emotional that, that happened Monday and Tuesday and um, on Wednesday some of you are thinking you know but you know it's, it's, it's a sense of um, whatever it is there's a transition that is coming up mm. Okay, Friday for the Virgos. Hmm, another solar plex chakras. I really do understand why the solar plex chakra comes up because obviously, um, some of you are withdraw, some of you, you know, need to find your true inner light again. And this, look at this, this is your true inner light. You need to call up an archangel, Uriel. Uh, and acts that the Sun the universal Sun and the rainbow color flow through you and surround you on Monday and Tuesday the entire week if you can do that and remember I'm going to give you the sound of um, this solar plex chakra because um, if you have a little weight around your navel that sort of a thing that means your solar plex chakra is out of balance okay that means you are powerless you let people um, you know deal with you how and you know because you love someone you let them walk over you and you're gonna say no this is not happening okay truth oh my god it's like a lot of truth is gonna come out in this week truth is gonna come out in the middle of the week so expect to um, find out something that you weren't aware of I don't know I don't know let's go in now with um, you guys but the Taurus even got this um, the Taurus got these two yeah, but uh, yep and it's in the upright form deception and envy you Virgos watch out in this week because I knew that there was a form of deception and envy I'm sorry I need to um, drink for my throat okay I know whenever especially with this deck I love this deck because 
emotional withdrawal memories of love some of you have decided or some of you have felt that a situation that you're in is no longer for you some of you have decided that I want to leave the situation I'm not this is not what I want in my life okay um, a lot of you Virgos the ascendance masters is going to be working with you guys in this week the ascendance master number 33 some of you might be seeing the number 33 that means the ascendance masters wants to connect with you whatever the situation that you come in in this week with because it's the first week of April you are going to be deciding to leave a situation behind you're gonna be thinking about a past lover or a past situation that had made you feel very good about yourself so there is gonna be some recognition coming in that you you know it could be from yourself that you decided okay I'm leaving this because it's not working for me you know it's not working out for myself and maybe um, it's a situation so let's you know I'm gonna ask a lot of question I mean the Taurus get this victory and success on Sunday so on Sunday you're going to be victorious and successful because um, we're going to go through this because the judgment the judgment whatever the judgment is you're going to be um, it's a, going to be a positive judgment that is coming out um, the energy of you healing your solar plex chakra um, needs to happen so let me give you the um, sound for the solar plex chakra because this is um, very important that we learn the chakra points in our body and we use them to heal ourselves. The color is yellow, as you see on this. The sound is Ram, R A M. The sound is Ram. Say, Ram, 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 Ram. Element is fire. It is the adrenaline and it's I can. It's I can, okay. So um, this is um, um, very positive. So Monday and Tuesday, you need to keep on saying rum, rum, rum. If you want to sing it, if you want to say it, but you have to say it three times, three times, and then three times. Then you're gonna feel the energies in around your navel you're going to feel that energy around your navel and you're going to feel as if you know there's a, an energy strength because it's it's your own energy you are saying it um it's nice to say it out loud so close yourself in your room and and, and do that what we're looking at here in the middle of the week some of you are going to be thinking about a situation a love that was a love that would have been and you are going to be finding out the truth of this situation okay um, and whatever the situation is is that you're going to um, you know recognize that at some stage there was the play of deception and eight so it could be that some of you have also played a game against someone who have done something deceitful against someone and you know because you think that this person didn't deserve to have all that they have or whatever the jealousy was it could be that some of you were like someone they uh, may have you know ended the relationship for whatever reason it could be yourself because you are a Virgo you are like you know um, whatever it is and um, they have not let you back in their life or their situations and you know you become very deceptive of this and you you bull out of this person and uh, in a sort of a deceptive and aid form and now you are regretting it because you have realized that someone was misjudged someone you know a situation and you're going to stand up for the person you know and you're going to really um have recognition for the person and um you know you're going to really 
you know, oh my God, I had no idea that this whatever has transpired with this person because it is actually someone of a past life. It is someone who you have connected with for a very short period of time. And um, for some reason, whatever has transpired is that the relationship has handed and you are feeling a sort of a hate going to the person but knowing that you really care about this person and this person really ended the relationship or you ended the relationship or it could be something that you have said and done and this person decided to end it, the relationship and um and now that relationship has has been ended and now you know you you're you know really recognizing that it was just deceptive and envy um what people had for the um someone and you're going to stand up for this person because the truth is going to come out and you're going to say kudos to this person. For some people, it's that the truth is going to come out for a situation and you're going to be happy and glad because this is happening in the weekend. It's as if on Saturday, you're going to find out the truth to a situation and you're going to think, oh my God, you know, I'm glad this has ended because, you know, I was really feeling bad with myself about what has transpired. Um you know and, and 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 this is it. It, it, it for a lot of people there's going to be victorious and successful situation that are coming out it's nothing to do with uh, it's, it's it can be a victory and success for you because um you have found your true inner light you are not letting anyone step on you anymore and this is positive a lot of you building blocks you are coming in this month trying to build new blocks and, and this can be that you're building new situation in your life and that sort of a thing okay so building new blocks is it can be that you are starting over you're leaving a relationship you're leaving a situation behind and you're starting over and you're wishing and hoping that positive energies will come in your life so you're building something new for yourself and the next energies from the unicorns is Mother Mary and her unicorn. So Mother Mary and the unicorns are blessing you. So forgive yourself for whatever you have done or whatever has transpired. Forgiveness is the key. And um, if someone has hurt you, you need to do the ram thing, and you can do it for seven seven days behind three times per day and you know you can do it as much as you want because you're going to find out that you're healing your um you're healing your soul of like chakra call up on mother mary and her unicorn to come in and help you because she was just gonna bring you a lot of blessings okay so forgiveness is going to be the key for you guys um, I want to say namaste until next week. Um, wishing you guys a wonderful week. Um, please remember to like and share these videos. And I will say, um, have a wonderful week. Yeah.